property is on the side of the mountain range and it's not often we get to ride through the clouds. So how did we get here? In a car of course. Like most capital cities, it's usually an hour's drive to get to the state forests or any private property worth riding on. And when it's rained a lot, you usually need a four-wheel drive. It's all part of the Great Dividing Range along the east coast of Australia. Further down the range, there are specific tracks up steep slopes that need a lot of pivot turns. Let's check one out. It doesn't look too steep, but you have to do the pivot turns very carefully or the bike could just launch back down the hill. Today we have dragged Craig out for the first time and he's having a lot of fun trying this with short legs. I ask him how he's going, but he's out of breath and just says, I can't talk. <laughs> I know the feeling. And seriously, I do know the feeling. I still exercise most days, try to eat healthy, but lately it takes bugger all to get me wheezing and doubled over. I'm tempted to just write this off as the kind of shit that happens as you get towards 60 years old. But I still remember interviewing Stephen Gore, who was one of our motocross champions back in the 1980s. He's older than me, but rippling with lean muscle, and he says his cardio is still about the same as when he was in his 30s. Dammer. Mind you, he is exercising three hours a day. We don't stop riding because we get old. We stop riding because I get <laughs> We don't stop riding because we get old. We get old because we stop riding. 